Dear Santa Claus, this is the very first time I've ever written to you. All my Christmases have been wonderful, and you gave me lots of nice toys. This year, Mommy says Christmas won't be the same because, well, because my big brother Tommy won't be here. Not too long ago, Tommy was home in a green suit with great big gold buttons. He looked like our mailman, Mr. Dewey. When Tommy was home, I tried his shiny shoes on. They were so big, Tommy laughed, and he said it takes a big man to fill those shoes. Santa, I wonder what he meant by that. I asked Tommy if he loved Mommy, Daddy, and me, and you know what he said? He said he loved us very much, and he loved his country, too. And that's why he was going away. Last week, Mr. Dewey brought Mommy a letter and made Mommy cry. I don't like Mr. Dewey anymore. When Daddy came home, he cried too. And I never, never saw my Daddy cry before. Santa, why were Mommy and Daddy crying? They took Tommy's records and things and put them in the attic. you be mad at me. Mommy was when I played Tommy's favorite record yesterday. Tommy used to play one special record over and over and over. A man was talking and said, not what my country can do, what I can do, or, or something like that. I asked what that meant, but he said, it means a lot, but I'm too young to know. Aside, I'm a doctor. What seems to be the problem? I think he's having a heart attack. Okay, it appears this man is still breathing, which means he still has a heartbeat. I'm unable to help him until he stops breathing and his heart ceases to beat. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure I'm a doctor. You would never trust your health to someone who merely claimed to be an expert. We require proof that they know what they're talking about. Is his heart still beating? Yeah. Then let's give him a few more minutes. Are you sure you're a doctor? I took an intensive eight-hour course on culinary resuscitation. That doesn't make you a doctor. Have you ever breathed the breath of life into a lifeless body? No, have you? Well, no, not yet. Give me a minute. Yet when it comes to spiritual matters, people listen to many self-proclaimed experts. Jesus rose from the dead to prove his authority. Who are you following? And have they risen from the dead? Another message from Lifeline Productions, the comic strip of radio at lifelinepro.com.